Hello there and welcome. In this tutorial series, we're going to create our own custom server. Why do we need a custom server for Unity? Essentially, any feature that involves online functionality, whether it's multiplayer, data storage, or even leaderboards relies on server communication. While there are plenty of managed servers available, building your own server from the ground up offers a great amount of control and customization to fit your exact needs. Now, if you've never done anything like this before, it might seem a little overwhelming at first, but don't worry, this is a great opportunity to challenge yourself and pick up some valuable new skills. So let's get started. And the first thing we need to do is to sign up to Amazon Web Services. We can run a server for free, at least at the first trial period. After that, it's going to cost us depending on the amount of services that we require. But for the first year of the subscription, if you're not going to use any special things, it's going to be free. So we simply go to Google and search for Amazon Web Services. Then we're going to click over here, create account. Then we need to input the email and the name for our account. Now we're going to get a code to our email. So we're simply going to input the code over here. Now we need to create a password. This will be the main password that you're going to be using to log in into your AWS account. And it needs to be long and specific. So I'm going to create something. Now we need to enter all of this information. And after everything is done, you simply click on continue. You also need to input your billing information and they tell you that you're not going to be charged if you're inside the free tier limits. If you exceed the free tier limits, then they're going to charge you, but you get a free trial for at least a year and then they will notify you when this year is up. So again, verify and continue. Then we need to do another authentication. So they will send you a text message to your phone. Then we're going to select the basic support for free. So now we're done with the signing up. We can go to the management console. So now we are inside the management console. We can see that we are logged in. Amazon actually provides a lot of different services starting from machine learning and databases. We can host machines. So you don't need to know how to use all of these different services, but just know that you have more options over here. What we are interested in is creating a server that is going to be hosted by Amazon. In order to create a server, we first need a machine. So the service that we're going to use is the EC2 virtual server in the cloud. We can also search it over here, EC2. And over here, we can create instances of these machines and then we can deploy them. And of course, after we have a machine, we can install a server on this machine and we can connect and do whatever we want. These instances can run, we can stop them, we can actually save them for later use. So think about this as renting a computer that is hosted by Amazon and then we can do whatever we want. We can install Windows, we can install Linux, we can install Mac OS, we can do whatever we want with this machine. So that's all for this episode. In the next episode, we're going to create our first instance. We're going to create a Linux machine and we're going to install a server on this machine to be able to actually create some functionality. So thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you're still not subscribed so you can get updated when the next tutorial will come out and I'll see you next time.